with your hosts, Dr. Sharmini Long and Mike Tucker. Hello, I'm Mike Tucker, and this is Lifestyle Magazine. We are coming to you today from the beautiful province of Ontario, Canada. But our topic today is rather serious. I don't know of any other force on the planet that is as devastating as is war. And of its victims, none are more seriously affected than the children. And our guest today understands this firsthand. She is the subject of an iconic photograph that is found in, on the cover of the book that she has just released, entitled Fire Road. Our guest today is Kim Fook. Thank you for being here, Kim. Thank you for having me. Now, I obviously want to talk about the Pulitzer winning photograph that you were featured in. But before we get there, I want to back up. Where were you born? I came from Vietnam. Yes. South of Vietnam. Yes. What town? Uh, Trang Bang. Trang, that, okay. Yeah, Trang Bang. Okay, very my good. Hometown. And your father and mother, what did they do? My mom and dad, uh, like, they just do normal they, uh, business. They have a restaurant. Oh, restaurant, in town. okay. Yes. So they were entrepreneurs, so to speak. Yes. They, they had a business that they operated. Right. Yeah. Very good. Do you have any siblings? I have nine. Nine siblings. siblings. Oh and my I'm goodness! I'm number six. You're number six of all nine. That's great. Mm -hmm. And so, growing up as you did in Vietnam during this time, the war was waging around you. What was that like for you? For me, I remember when I was a child. Uh, even Vietnam have a lot of war, talking about war, but yes. they they were far from us. Ah. Right. And then I just remember a lot of people as a refugee. They came to our village and stay for nine. Uh, and then the day they go to work. And um, my family is a really, uh, I, I feel so happy when I mm. went to school and going home. I felt like I'm, I was a princess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get into my family, my yes. house, how beautiful. That is all I remember. Yes. Yeah. So it was very pleasant memories for you. Yeah. Every little girl, by the way, should feel like a princess. That's exactly. appropriate, don't you think? <laughs> yes. So your parents made you feel like a princess, and that's good news. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And I remember I uh, almost, uh, like, I remember we have a lot of food trees in the backyard. Yes. And my favorite, uh, the food is uh, guava. Okay, yes. And I remember we have about 42 trees. <laughs> you remember the number precisely. And then, oh, and then I just choose, uh, I just, uh, choose the best one. I yes. claim on the tree and pick up the wava and oh. the, 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 the best one I just eat first and then after that I threw to my friends. Yes. And we had so fun. Oh, that's great. But there came a time when the idyllic childhood that you had began to shift, when the war invaded your life as well. Right. When did that start to happen? I remember when I was just nine years old. Yes. I finished my uh, third grade. Yes. Then uh, summer come in. Mm -hmm. And that summer they call the fire, summer fire. Yes, the summer of fire. Yeah. And then um, the uh, the the north of Vietnamese soldiers they came to um, my village, mm. and they wanted to uh, occupy that village. Right. And so, as a child, I was nine years old. I just you know enjoy with my childhood. Mm. Then um, my mom uh, when. She opened the door when they knocked at the door, and my mom saw all the soldiers there. Yes. And she knew, she knew we were in a danger. You were in very big danger at that point. Right. And then that is what happened. Uh, so after that, my family was allowed to go to the temple yes. for uh, hiding in the temple. Mm -hmm. We thought that is a holy place. It would be safe there. Exactly. Yeah. But unfortunately, 
Yeah. In the wartime, is no place to be safe. No, there is no safe place when it comes to war. And of course, during that time, as North Vietnam was really starting to take over the country, exactly. President of South Vietnam was telling his generals to hold that city at all costs, and he knew that this was going to be a real battle zone. The order was given to start to bomb it with napalm, and that's when the attack took place that changed your life forever. Yeah. What are your memories of, of what happened to you on that day? I remember on, we hiding in a temple for three days. Yes. And on the third day, uh, as a children, we just allowed it to play around a bomb shelter. Of then I remember we just finished our lunch and we saw the color mark Yes. They drop inside of the temple area. Which means they're going to bomb there. Exactly. Then the South Vietnamese soldiers, they were with us. Yes. They protected us there. Mm -hmm. Then they say, oh my goodness, this is dangerous. We have to go because they, they go to destroy everything mm -hmm. in this village. Right. So we, uh, uh, they, the soldiers, uh, jailed for the children. Right. Uh, to go first because, you know, children yeah. always run fast. Yeah, that's right. Then adults just uh, be behind us with uh, belongings and mm -hmm. with the children. So I remember I was in the front of the temple when yes. I got out uh, with my brothers and a lot of children around. And I remember when I got into the front of the temple, just just between the highway one and the front of the temple, mm -hmm. I saw the airplane got so loud wow. and so close to me, so fast. As a child, I didn't run. I remember that. I stood right there and I turned my head and I looked at the, the, the airplane yes. and I saw four bombs landing down. Right. And I remember I didn't hear the big explosion like before, mm -hmm. like kind of another kind of bomb, but I heard boop, 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 boop. Mm. And suddenly right there, there was fire everywhere, everywhere around me. And I knew it, I got burned. Yes. Because I saw the fire over my, my body. Mm -hmm. Especially in my in in my uh, left arm, yes. And I use my right hand. I just wrap it up. Right. That's why I got burned over burned here too. Burned on your too. hand as well, then. And then, of course, all my back got burned. Then the fire just burned off my clothes. Oh my! I didn't have time to take it off. No, it just no, burned off. No, it just burned off. Incinerated. Yes. And then I still remember at that time. I thought, oh my goodness, I got burned and I became ugly girl. So people will see me different way. But right at that moment you thought that. I thought that, I still remember yes. very well, nine years old. Yes. And I stopped thinking about that mm -hmm. because I was terrified. And I just didn't see anyone around me but fire and yes. smoke. Yes. Then I just ran out of that fire. Then I saw my brothers, my cousin, and some soldiers there. And of course I cry and my brother also cry. And we kept running and running, running. Until I was so tired to run anymore. Yes. And I stopped. We're gonna stop with you stopping. And we'll be back with more right after this. I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of MyPillow. Thanks to your support, you've helped make MyPillow become one of the fastest growing companies in America. 
Over the last 12 years, you've helped my pillow create thousands of jobs right here in the USA. When I got my pillow, I'm asleep almost immediately. I stay asleep at night and I wake up more well rested in the morning. That's why I invented my pillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported and aligned. I'm interrupting this commercial right now. Retailers have canceled my pillow. And to thank you for your support, I'm gonna pass the savings directly on to you. Go to mypillow.com right now to get deep discounts on all my pillow products. For example, you can get my premium my pillows regularly $69.98, now just $29.98. The lowest price ever. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. We are talking with Kim Phuc, an iconic figure actually of the Vietnam War. Now, you were telling the story of when the bombs dropped, you saw that there was fire all over you, it incinerated your clothes, you see it on your arm, you showed us some of the scars, you wiped, you tried to brush that off and you ran. You ran and ran until you couldn't run anymore and then you stopped. What happened next? When I stopped, so I saw a lot of people in front of me and then I cried out, too hot, too hot. Oh. So I remember one of the soldiers, he gave, uh, he gave me some water to drink. Yes. Then because I cried out, too hot, too hot, he tried to help me. Yes. He poured water over me. Oh. And I think at that moment, I lost consciousness yes. because the water make the napalm burn even deeper. Even deeper at that point. It was the wrong thing to do. But who knows yeah. at that moment. So I pass, I pass out. Yes. I didn't know anything yeah. what happened next. But you received treatment. Where did you get, they took you for treatment someplace? After that, I learned a lot of uh, stories about my story, but from another people. Yes. Like photographer, yes. doctor, my mom, my dad, uh, all this, my brother, uh, that, that has happened. So one the story that I learned that um, the photographer, after he took my picture, Yes. and then he rushed me to the nearest hospital. Wonderful. I'm so thankful. Absolutely. That, that I call him Uncle Ud. Okay. So, <laughs> Uncle Ud saved my he life. He saved your life and, and got you treatment. But uh, this has required many surgeries for you, hasn't it? As I learned that, I stay in the hospital that was uh, Barsky Burn Clinic yes. at the end. And so I spent 14 months in the hospital. Wow. And I went through 16 operations there. And the last one I had um, in Germany in 1984. 1984. So this has been a long-term recovery oh, experience yes. for you from 1972 when this took place. 12 years later, 1984. Yeah, even right uh, the last two years, I had another treatment they call laser treatment. Yes, even in, just recently, within the yes, last two years. In my army with Dr. Jill Weibel. Do you still have pain from this? Yes, I honestly, the pain just constantly with me about 45 years. Wow. And so after the laser treatment, um, compare, you know, I have about halfway. Half as much pain as you did before. Compare what I had before. Well, I'm thankful that you found some relief. That I thank God for that. Yes. Now, after all this has happened, and you've been in the hospital 14 months, and now over 20 years of, of, of surgeries and 45 years of pain, there's got to be some anger someplace through this. Have you been angry, resentful over this whole experience? Yes, I went through all of that. Yes. I had been um, so much anger, hatred, bitterness. Even I hated myself oh. when I saw my scar. When oh, I growing up with ugly scar and so much pain, yes. and I just ask, why me? Why that happened to me? I didn't do anything wrong. No, you didn't. And uh, why I have to do that? I um, think at our viewers, there, there are very few of our viewers who haven't been through something traumatic 
who haven't asked the same question. That's right. Why me? <laughs> Why, Why me? me? And so I, uh, but uh, right now, I understand why me. So I, I, I want to talk about that, why me now, but, but before we get there, how did you come to that point where you came to the place where you said, I, I can put this behind me? I, I know you've done a work of forgiveness in your heart. Yes. <laughs> and so what, I've got about 60 seconds to my next break. What, what's, can you give me kind of a, a, a bird's eye view of something that happened to make this uh, change for you? Right. This is an amazing turning point when I read the Bible and Jesus say, love your enemies. Oh my. <laughs> it's so hard for me. I, it seemed to me impossible. Yes. But I became Christian in uh, Christmas Eve, 1982. 1982. After I uh, became, you know, I have faith in Jesus and, and I have connection. I just trust and obey. I open the Word of God, I pray, and then I say, how can I do that? Oh. Please, and I just ask God, help me. Yes. And from that, I work on. And so I just trust and obey. And um, I, I, I work on my forgiveness lesson. It yes. is really hard, I very talk, difficult. I want to talk about how hard that was when we come back. Because I, I, I would imagine that saying it's hard is one of the most vast understatements you've ever made. It was much more difficult than even that word hard means. And I'll be back with more right after this. Healers from God a devotional filled with practical yet inspirational teachings and real-life experiences with real-word application which will encourage the reader. Order your copy today at Amazon.com or MotivatedByLove.org. Scripture Therapy offers solutions to challenges individuals face every day. Scripture Therapy combines faith, psychology, and life experiences to reach those seeking more in their daily walk with God. The authors, Lester and Roxanne Trichet, have blended their skills to produce a powerful book that has the potential of helping people from all kinds of backgrounds and systems of belief. The Trichets are a dynamic duo is a must read for anyone who wants to enhance their spirituality and improve their happiness quotient on day one. Available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, iTunes, and www.scripturetherapycenter.com. I've had so far a fascinating conversation with Kim Fook. And we've come to the point now where you have chosen to forgive those who did this to you, chosen to forgive those who have caused you so much pain. And you said that this came about because of your conversion to Christianity. You saw in the Bible where he said, forgive and love your enemies. Love your enemies. So who did you view as your enemies right then that you had to love? Whosoever caused my suffering. That would include the pilot, commanders. Everyone. How about the United States? Is that a part of who you uh, caused your pain? Everyone who involved in my all of, of my of my suffering, like my own government yes. controlling me, and you know, like take me away from my school. Yes. And I said, why me? And that what happened to me? And everyone who caused my suffering. You came to that conclusion in 1982. How long did it take you to come to the point where you thought you had forgiven everyone? It took me a long time for I a don't while. Doubt it. Every day I just wake up and I have a choice to choose. Yes. And I am so thankful that I have a right choice. Yes. And that is really heal my heart. Like I have a list of my enemies. Yes. After I learn, I have a list of prayer. My I have a prayer list. Yes. And I started to pray for my enemies. Bless your heart. The more I pray to my enemies, yes. the softer my heart became. I, I hear and, the emotion in your voice right now as you right, talk about yes. that. Because that there. is not easy. No. 
as a human being, I have so much scars, I have so much pain, and it's is it impossible for me to do that? Yes. How can I love my enemies? But with God help, He is able. He can help me. And and with my attitude is like before I curse them, yes. but now I pray for them. Uh -huh. That is the action of love. Yes, that is an action of love. And with so much division in our world. It right. seems like it's even stronger now than ever before. Right. Polar opposites, so much hatred. Yes. Do you think this message is something that the world could learn from? I think so. Is that I that because it's really helped me before. I I was so miser miserable. Yes. I was so bitterness. I just wanted to die. Yes. But now I embrace my life. I count a blessing. I just look forward to the present and the future, the more I can help people, the more happy I, I am. Yes. And yes, I look at my life, it's so colorful. Mm -hmm. It's not darkness like before. Yes. And that is me. Yes. That little girl in the picture needed. And how much people in this world need it. Absolutely. Peace you, and joy, that is the one that I think everybody needed. You've created a foundation to work on this very thing, haven't you? Yes. Tell me about the foundation. I have a dream to become a doctor when I was in a hospital. Yes. And I want to help people like the doctor helping me yes. and make a difference in my life. So, but in, um, in my life, mm -hmm. uh, I couldn't become a doctor. Right. Now I keep my dream alive. I want to help others. That's why with some friends, in Canada and United States helped me. And we established the Kim Foundation International. Kim our, Foundation International. Yeah. Uh, our mission, we just wanted to help the children or a child, victims of war oh, around my. the world. My. We just wanted to build the hospital, the school, or orphanage home for children. Hmm. Is there a website people could visit to find your foundation? Yes. What is w that? www.kimfoundation.com kimfoundation.com yes. Great. And your, your job there is to help relieve the suffering of the, the innocent victims of war, yes. which are always children. <laughs> Thank you. And I also uh, UNESCO Goodwin Ambassador for the Culture of Peace too. Wonderful. A culture of Peace. Yes. Your story is just an incredible inspiration to me. Uh, the, uh, the work of forgiveness that you did, uh, I, I cannot imagine. I, I've never had to forgive anything of near that size, but to undertake that task and to turn that pain into blessing for others. Uh, Kim, you're an inspiration. Thank you. I, I'm really so thankful to be alive. Yes. To have another chance, another opportunity to be alive in this world, to help people and to let people know how God so powerful, God is love, God is good. Because I was a victim of war. Yes. People fighting that caused my suffering. But because of God's love, He changed my life, became who I am today. And Loving we're going to take a people. break on that note because you, who you are today is wonderful. And thank you. We'll be right back with a final word after this. The Faith Unveiled Network was birthed out of a need to give exposure to unknown or hidden people that possess God's gifts and talents. There are preachers, teachers, musicians, clothing designers, artists, cooks, and many others that God has given extraordinary talents to. God is raising up these people in His kingdom that will glorify Him. Our goal is to bring these talents to your mobile devices, computers in your home and office, or on the go. With today's technology, these gifts and talents can be shared with you 24-7. Broadcasters that will bless your heart and your life. Currently, the Faith Unveiled Network shares these talents in the form of video and podcasting services. As the network grows, it will strive to move into other medias such as cable TV, satellite TV, and local TV. 
The goal is to enhance the experience of the network's TV shows through networking resources and communication activities that become available. The ultimate goal of the network is to build and bring unity to the Kingdom of God through its broadcasters via the internet, social media, mobile apps, and other available resources. By facilitating the use of the gifts of the Spirit, according to 1 Corinthians 12, 4-11, on a global level, each broadcaster brings their own gifts and treasured talents. Enjoy each moment, each broadcaster's TV show, and let them and us hear from you. We'd love to know that you're watching their programs and being blessed by their God-given gifts. Thank you for watching FUN, the Faith Unveiled Network. Thank you for watching FUN, the Faith Unveiled Network. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of MyPillow. Thanks to your support, you've helped make MyPillow become one of the fastest growing companies in America. Over the last 12 years, you've helped MyPillow create thousands of jobs right here in the USA. When I got MyPillow, I'm asleep almost immediately. I stay asleep at night and I wake up more well-rested in the morning. That's why I invented MyPillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported and aligned. I'm interrupting this commercial right now. Retailers have canceled my pillow. And to thank you for your support, I'm going to pass the savings directly on to you. Go to MyPillow.com right now to get deep discounts on all my pillow products. For example, you can get my premium my pillows regularly $69.98, now just $29.98, the lowest price ever. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Our time with Kim Fook has unfortunately come to an end. Kim, though, I know you've got a message for our viewers, something that they want to carry away from this. What do you want to tell them? Um, I really want to tell all the people around the world how horrible war it is. Yes. But also how beautiful world can be if everyone can learn how to live with love, hope, and forgiveness mm -hmm. and like the challenges for everyone is if that little girl can do it <laughs> so everyone can do it too thank you Kim. you don't have to be somebody and do something it seemed to me it to be so late just be yourself be a blessing thank you Kim Thank you. And that little girl still witnesses to all of us. Thank you. And I see her in you. So thank you so much for being here and being a part of this. Thank you for being a part of this one as well. We look forward to seeing you again next time. But until then, you take care of yourself. Bye-bye. To get a copy of today's offer, please call 888-940-0062. That's 888 940 0062.